Hello Scorpio, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your reading for May 6th through the 15th for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'll be using the Celtic Cross spread and I'm going to see here what situation events <clears throat> or what's important for you to know. What is important for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to know please during this time frame. Celtic Cross spread, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more. The Six of Cups, Sun in Scorpio, a past connection, a soulmate, someone that you feel familiar with. We shall see what's going on here. I'm getting good cards, but let's keep going. And <laughs> let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. I feel it, it is... It is good. It's just that there's some card. Ah, oh, what a roller coaster. I mean, it is good. And then, well, no matter what, you're dealing with some big, big changes, big transformation here. Wow. Like, I, I kept going and it was like, what is going on here? Okay, let's, let's, let's go through it. I should not speak ahead of time. You're dealing with some type of decision, some type of communication. I feel like especially the Knight of Swords here is like has gotten some type of um, decision to make. It's like, what do I leave here? I feel like it's a messenger type of situation because we're dealing with the Four of Wands, which has to do with some type of engagement, um, structure, even family commitment. So I feel like someone is making a decision, looking here, how this decision will bring you and someone else together and we're going to clarify all of this but it's like okay i'm dealing with this what do i need to, to do here we have venus and venus venus in aries venus in um cancer so it is about something regarding your values your love life uh, who you even you know in this situation you want to come together with who is your perfect match that's what is at the heart of this situation whatever your decision you are are making the challenge being the four of wands the challenge is good in this situation with four of wands because again it deals with some type of structure or coming together or family or commitment this is because in the past you have gone through something here that you could not exactly grasp with the moon it was unreachable maybe you felt um, emotionally here confused i don't know what to do i don't know why i'm feeling this it's like descending into this um you know the the hidden part of yourself and trying to kind of navigate that emotional roller coaster with the knight of swords is like i need you know something more logical more factual when it comes to me and this person but the interesting part is that what you see possible is the devil somehow you feel that no matter what because of this situation here uh, from the past not knowing here and it's like you're looking to, to leave something behind. There's still here this obsession or attachment. You feel like the lovers here, which may be you and someone else. So when it comes to this decision, there's still uh, something that keeps you chained, that keeps you trapped. The tower coming in, we do have on the 16th, actually, it's like 15th, very late at night. The full moon is happening, um, I believe at midnight yes um on the 16th so i feel like which is you know a lunar eclipse in your in scorpio in your sign this mars coming here it's very interesting because it kind of reflects what in the past has been hidden why you think here that there's this you know i can't do anything i'm i'm attached to this energy it's like okay it's like it's forcing something here to kind of come out here of purging or whatever has been hidden or whatever codependencies, whatever you felt like has been chained. It is a blessing in disguise, but it is not easy, uh, the tower. We know that, uh, which again, changes here for, I think Scorpio is the best sign when it comes to changes to know here how to navigate those crises. But uh, it, it's coming with some type of big revelation. We will see what this big revelation or this shocking event, or even, you know, is like something that cannot hold anymore. 
whatever is hidden has to come. Pandora's box is opening up here. What I'm finding here um, uh, emotionally here that you guys are dealing with good things, but also other things that you need to change because the way you're going to see yourself, your attitude is all about this wish fulfillment. In a way, you know that something has to happen in order for you to get this wish fulfillment. This is at the heart of this reading. It is about two people that want to be together. It is about you and someone else um, trying to connect. The Nine of Cups is like you wish for this. You want this. But externally to you, be aware it can be again this depending here on the situation that you're dealing we have the ten of swords it means there's something here is coming or your person feels betrayed or you know you're dealing with some type of outside circumstances that are painful you feel like this is the timing is completely wrong psychologically there's a lot of bitterness or situation here that are ending badly i really want to clarify that because I, the ten of swords because you have the nine of cups here the ten of swords is like something okay it needs to end i'm tired especially obsessively here um what i need to let go but it's external to you it's not you you have the wish fulfillment look at you in your hopes and fears you you kind of feel like okay i need to manifest i need that this decision here whatever i'm going to bring things together uh, you know engagement commitment reunion with this person it's just all about how you use you know what you know here the knowledge that you have how you manifest, what you need to be aware of. The Three of Swords tells me that there is some separation here or there's some type of difficult decision that you have to deal the outcome out of this uh, or that you're going to decide here whether it's like, okay, whatever this attachment is, I'm letting it go. It's painful, but I need to let it go. There's some type of se separation or um, pain or even, I feel like it's psychologically mostly here. So let's see what that three of swords is but with the tower and the three of swords definitely you're dealing with some major changes that um, bring separation or difficult decisions here for you Scorpio but it's because again you have something here that you truly wish to go after This tower has been coming a lot um, lately for at least, I feel like, half of the signs. So I believe it has to do with the eclipses going on. Okay, so let's see here. What is this Knight of Swords? One more. The Knight of Wands. You have made a decision. Look at you with the Three of Wands. This is about taking charge, taking action, communicating or making a decision. But I feel like you have decided here to take action, to go towards or this person or to change. I feel like I'm, I'm not going to stay with this situation. I'm going to change. I'm going to go forward. It is that something that comes from passion. It's like your mind has been, both of these have a journey here that um, have to take. And both of these go very well together the air and fire so definitely you feel action oriented there's something that you need to do you need to communicate you need to act you or whoever you know you're dealing with so let's see it's tied to this commitment structure family it's interesting it's like we have three the expectations and now what's what happened next What is the four of wands, please? One more. Oh my goodness, it's about change. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. What you're dealing with is a very positive change. But you're taking action because you believe, again, that you have to face here something that brings you and someone else together. It's changing what you thought of commitment, what you thought of marriage, what you thought of a particular person to put roots down. But he's in a positive, the Bull of Fortune with the Four of Wands is just regarding, hey, if I'm, I'm going to take this because I believe that this is, for me, the moment to, to, again, to change, to change my environment, to change my circumstances, to change my life. 
those two are very positive cards whatever you have to face is regarding this journey this action is something that you feel brings you happiness and fortune lack and destiny and fate it and it is regarding a connection a union what is the two of cups i feel like even the may reading that i did for you guys is like you are going to meet the right people you are going to make the right decision again whoever you're connecting with what is the two of cups please one more the king of wands huh a very passionate personalities regarding someone here that you truly are attracted and desire this person this is your perfect match let's get another card one more wow this person may be at a distance from you there's been difficulty communicating to me it's like you believe that you are about to travel towards this person or you are about to go you know meet this person or they are coming to meet you it can be vice versa here again you will have to make a decision what's to do next but this is for some of you if you close the chapter you feel like then there's now a um, new chapter in your life that brings you love again if it's not a distance this is someone here that you and this person feel like there's a sense of accomplishment it's like a journey here that both of you want to to kind of um, come together Okay, it's a new beginning the foundation of this reading is very beautiful again world to me is achievement accomplishment graduation whatever we want to to go towards to reach that destination and that's what i feel like the two of cups is coming with this king of wands so let's see what happened with the moon what happened here with the moon one more there was no clarity yeah there was something that was um hidden avoided you have the magician so you now you feel like okay now i'm aware what has been avoided not seen but to me this is saying that there was something that needed to come here some type of truth or hidden even clarity you might felt like okay i don't have clarity here i'm trying to figure out there was a lot of confusion a lot of hidden aspects why you see yourself as the outcome with the devil no matter what you feel like oh it's temptation oh i i'm in captivity i'm obsessing i have to get out of a situation that you and someone else are trapped what is the devil one more Some of you may be concerned about the material wealth, money. That's indulgence. Because remember, you have the Nine of Cups here as well. There's something here that you feel, I should be careful what I want. Or if I go towards this, or if I desire this. There's um, a fear of temptation or a fear of the forbidden in your mind here. Like, I should not wish for this. I should not want this. Um wow let's see what is the devil with the nine of cups one more it's someone from the past there's a longing a desire here but you have because i said this is indulgence and wanting here something wishing for it there's the other aspect here of that strength that completely is like nope I'm, my pride is here i cannot go towards it i have to tame myself it is a soulmate here someone you have known and you have desired that you still feel captivated by this person are you still holding on to this if this person even even comes towards you with a six of cups back you have this idea that no this is not gonna end up well for for me because i have to resist this you won't remember with the four of wands is like i want something here regarding engagement or i'm dealing with something regarding you know putting roots down or a foundation structure 
so you think like there's not a good outcome of that why is the tower what is the immediate situation with the tower one more i'm gonna look at oh. Oh my goodness, Scorpio, I don't know what you're dealing here with. The tower is coming again. This is regarding a decision here for some of you between two people, between when it comes to, I feel like someone's image, someone's, um, the way they've portrayed themselves. It's like a secret admiration or how someone is seen is coming completely here. Um, being revealed but it is regarding a decision the king of swords is coming here some of you may be dealing with an air sign you don't have to it's regarding M mars energy mars energy mars energy we have jupiter in leo looks like it's whoever if this person is coming towards you they will surprise you with things that you did not expect or you might find again that you suddenly you are between these two choices and they kind of feel that you have to start from scratch or you have to do something that you are out of your comfort zone um with the six of wands it is about someone's recognition here success and admiration because again you you i feel like you know this makes you feel good but at the same time you are worried about it So no, the tower is not something scary. In that sense, it's just a decision here that has to be made. So I have the cards turned. That seems um, bring other things here to the surface. Why you have the nine of cups? This is something you have wanted and gone back and forth, back and forth. Why the nine of cups? One more. Queen of Wands, okay, we do, you and someone else are so passionate, so attracted to each other, but it's been a, a lot of, should I go for it, should I not go for it? it, it's coming towards you again, and you're going to feel the temptation, you're going to feel like you want to go towards this, because there's a lot of attraction and desire here, what is the Ten of Swords, so you will feel good, I feel like your whole behavior is like, I feel good, what is this Ten of Swords, please, externally? One more. Some of you Capricorn as well. To me, this is someone that has lost hope of um, being with you. It's like if this person is watching external to you, they feel like, oh, she's not going to or he's not going to. I don't know why I said she. He, she doesn't. I have actually masculine energy here. It doesn't matter. It's, to me, it's like there's someone that has lost kind of hope or feels like this love here is not going to come through. This offer um, is not being accepted. It's psychologically someone that feels like, oh, is this over for us? You don't see this. You might not even see this person right now, what they're going through or in other circumstances. But it is something that has been lingering here. And psychologically, someone's like, oh, this is over. This is it. It's done. What is the magician, please? One more. Page of Swords. Communication. Communication here that, again, as I mentioned, when it comes to the past, the recent past, you were confused. So to me, this is, first of all, someone that is very quick to know here what to say you're hoping for some type of communication you're hoping that whatever you have realized or are aware now there's going to be some type of messages coming in or you're going to learn something here especially because remember the whole thing here is regarding this decision or communication that you are going to have you know to make regarding what do i leave behind where do i go forward here what chapter do i close there's something that i really want here but i feel like you know i, I should stay away from it so to me the magician in your hopes and fears you you kind of feel like okay i am aware of what do i need to do here but i'm waiting for some type of news or i'm waiting with something here more to kind of know what to say 
you're hoping for for some of you again someone will text you someone you know will reach out towards you so what is the three of swords one more ah scorpio doesn't look with that five of pentacles is someone here that because of um or there's other people's circumstances or there's some type of disappointment here regarding you and another person it's like someone is hurt here because oh you left me out there's an abandonment situation what is the three of swords and the five of pentacles one more yeah there's something about justice look the knight of swords it's like whatever this decision you have to make it does doesn't feel good to you regarding this person or you know them regarding you because i feel like someone uh feels that some type of injustice is being done if there's legal matters here or financial situation no matter what i feel like there's some type of um, heartbreak Especially if you or this person has to make a decision between you and another another one, it's coming with hurt. It's coming with pain. Remember, this is only for the ones here that, um, again, as I mentioned, that is someone at distance or someone that you feel it's your person. You feel like you want to be with this person. There's a lot of attraction here and desire, but I'm getting a lot of back and forth. There's options here or there's other situation. That still, and that's why you have the devil. You think like, oh no, I have to stay in this situation. No, the three of swords does not stay in a situation. The three of swords is very surgical. It's basically saying I have to, you know, to make a decision here in, in order to go to move forward, even if it is painful, even if it means that there's something here that will cause some type of, um, you know, hurt feelings or even being left out. But with the justice, it looks like some type of karmic changes are supposed to happen here. I really hope this resonates with you guys. As usual, in the extended, we'll see the person on your mind. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.